Hello and good morning my good people Good afternoon, good evening Depending where you're watching me from Or depending on the time you're watching me So your boy Vic Caesar once again And I'm here as always to give you More updates on Adlisa And what's going on in the Ministry of Labor So I have a few questions here And they're really important More so the questions of people going to Alcor And getting approved Or cancelling the applications on Adlisa. So before I go there, like like the video, hit that like button, guys, come on. Like, as I always tell you, liking the video helps us, our videos to top on the search, on Google search and also on YouTube. So hit that like button, comment, share, and yeah, follow me on Instagram at Vic Uh huh. I wanna start with the first person here is, uh, Vazir Mamtule he's saying he was just approved uh, the other day he got approved following my videos, my advice and everything that I mentioned in this channel so he was actually only saying thank you Vic and may the Lord bless your family may the Lord bless you too and open your ways the other person is Benjamin uh, Tenkorang also saying thank you Victor I was approved yeah, so many people are getting approved, but that's not the main point that I'm here today. Today I'm here to share a very important message on people getting approved and people cancelling their at least application. So, let me start with JJ. Uh, there's a person called JJ is saying, I did not receive my second text. As I told you guys, you are not going to receive the second message from at least after getting the OTP. That one I'm really insisting because... Now the system has a bit changed, not like before you are receiving the text from Adlisa saying that you have successfully submitted uh, your change of employer. Now what's happening is when you click on the submit button, depending on who is applying for you, either your PRO or you personally, when you click the final submission of all the documents required on Adlisa, there is a message that tells you you have successfully submitted your application for change of employer. Then in that message there is an EC number. What you are supposed to do, take a picture of the screen or of the screen if you are using a laptop or a computer or take a screenshot if you are using uh, a phone. Take a screenshot. That's the easy number. And there's another person here called, um, uh, what's the name of this? He's saying he lost, he lost his screenshot. What should he do? The only option you have right now is to call the Minister of Labor or go to the Minister of Labor. The number of the Ministry of Labor is just down below, even their emails, uh, and their number is 16008. You can call them and ask them the way forward or visit N branch of the Adlisa. And probably now we are preferring for people to go to Alcor because it's doing a good job. Uh, let's see, the next person is Craft um, Kraft Sabir is saying, guys who have any issues concerning change of sponsorship, change of employer, you should all go to Alcohol branch because he has also been approved within three hours. He went to cancel actually and within three hours it was done. So that's why I'm requesting you guys to go to Alcohol. And that answers the next question that uh, there's a guy called Sadiq Ahmed. He's my big fan. He's been staying here. Hi, bro. So Sadiq Ahmed is trying to advise you on the cheapest way to go to Alcohol. Have a Metro train uh, card. Uh, recharge it go to the metro train station of wh from wherever you are just take a metro train go to Lusail uh, metro station from Lusail it costs 40 real to Alcor but his advice is that don't go alone go two or three people so that you can share the cost so if you are two people it will cost you 20 20 real and coming back you will also come back from alcohol to sail metro station that will be 20 20 real if you are three years it's reducing even more and then from lucille metro station you can go to wherever place you want to go and you know the train is only two real so that will make it cheap so have the metro cards and uh, use lucille as your cheap uh, way to that place then there's another guy here saying uh vic give me your whatsapp number i'm sorry i'm not giving out my whatsapp number due to uh well-known reasons by so many people who do youtube videos here they know well so just hit me on instagram then 
or comment down below in the comment section whatever you want me to answer i'll be answering and there are guys who are asking me vic why have you not answered my questions i've posted maybe two three weeks ago the reason being uh most of the questions now are getting repeated and i don't want to repeat the question people are asking i applied this time i'm not getting approved so i will not be answering those questions because i have answered them in almost all my videos just make follow up and then there is another guy here um answer is saying i haven't received my final settlement from my company so the thing is if you have not received your final settlement from the company number one it means you have not fully changed your sponsorship to change your sponsorship fully is it it's when when you already have a qid from the new company that you have moved to from the new sponsor once you have the qid then you can go to your former company and ask for your settlements companies are not going to give you your final settlement if your sponsorship has not been fully changed from their company to the to the new company reason being you see if your sponsorship is still in this company and you want them to give you the final settlement and you are still their own so it doesn't make sense the only thing you can get from them is the gratitude end of year service if you're finished one year two years you will be given that but if you are changing a company you have to fully change to that company get a new qid from that company then go with the new qid to your current employer or to your former employer then from there they will give you your final settlement you will sign all the documents required uh, still another question is I have worked in my company for more than five years and uh, is it okay to ask them for an NOC or is it mandatory that they should give me an NOC according to the Qatar uh, labor law the previous law uh, I think is still working anyone who has stayed in a company for more than uh, three years they are supposed to give a two month resignation period not period and then after that you can move freely to your new company and there was a thing like if you have worked in Qatar for five years you can freely change even without the NOS and that yes yeah, that one still remained but they, they have not really uh, put a specific implementation of uh, a specific law dealing with that so you will still have to undergo the same process that others are going through you need to apply on at least submit all the required documents and for those who are saying my company is not signing my uh, resignation letter don't worry about that you don't have to worry anything about that submit your documents without a signed resignation letter so my advice could be send them a resignation letter by email so that you keep the evidence that you signed but they did not sign it and you personally take your resignation letter that doesn't have a stamp or seal or signature from your company and apply with it on change of employer at least it works trust me and it really works perfectly and for those who are doing follow-ups go with the ec number your scanned copy of the qid port sites and don't forget to write your qatari number your qatari number is very very important when it comes to changing of sponsorship in Qatar okay before I finish this video I need to give you uh, a rewind update on what's going on guys the only option we have right now or the best option we have right now for change of sponsorship is alcohol branch I'm still repeating at least alcohol branch they are doing it within three to four hours and they you will get cancelled you will get approved you will get your message that you are waiting for only in at least alcohol branch the other branches are yes are doing the same but it's taking long and now we have an opportunity at alcohol go there use the metro up to lucille from lucille take a taxi i hope you can go two to three people so that it can be cheap for you and when coming back come to sale again from sale to your destinations so that one will be easy because the more salad caro buses are not going to alcohol because alcohol is at two kilometers from door cbd they are not going for long distance it's because of the covid so guys that's enough for today hit the subscribe button like share comment down below and obviously go follow me on instagram at vic see you on the next one peace out